In lane one in this B final will be Lizzie Danforth from Nova, Virginia. In two, Maddie Hilburn from Nation's Capital. In three is Rachel Holt from Machine Aquatics. In four, Madison Colasar from the Suburban Seahawks. Five, Savannah Nash, Nation's Capital. Six, Anna Redekin from Machine Aquatics. Seven, that's Brooke Travis, and it's been, oh, she's got out of the thousand maybe a half hour ago, so she'll be feeling great right now. Fresh and running fresh legs. Uh, they don't use the legs that much in the thousand. <laughs> and Megan Mastropaolo is in lane eight at the bottom of your screen. They're taking it out. This is aggressive. You talk about uh, tough doubles. I uh, I once saw Becca Mann when she was swimming for a Clearwater Aquatic Team at a Florida sectional meet. She swam in the fastest heat of the 800 meter freestyle, which was the first event, just like we saw here with like a thousand, and then got right out of the 800 and stepped right, not even kidding, right <laughs> onto the blocks for the A final of the tuner fly. She won the 800 with some Wait, ridiculously fast no, time. No, there was nothing in between the 800 and the two fly? No, because the, the women's 800 went, and then the women's two fly went, and the men's 1500 was in the middle of the meet. Yeah, it was in the middle of the There session. was no consolation finals before that? No, when ABC. When ABC. Ooh. Yeah, when ABC final, Ooh. and she, she seriously, uh, how the was it like? She, I think she got like, she went way slower than her prelim time. She got like fifth in the heat though, she didn't get last. Ooh. Yeah, uh, it was great to watch. She like chugged a chocolate milk or chugged something. And the officials gave her, I think, an extra minute. And but she seriously got up on the blocks and went again. So we've got another tight, tight race here. And I, the, the hardest part about doing a double like that is just getting out with the heat. Once you get out with the heat, you kind of hang on. You've yeah. gotten yourself in the race, and you can kind of let adrenaline take over. Uh, it's real easy to let that first 50, 75 get away from you. But it looks like, you know, Brooks, Brooks up there. Um, she's in it at least. She's in it. And she may not, not in first, but she's starting to come alive now. You, you see the back half of the race going. You. You've gotten out of the, gotten kinks out from the thousand. You've just started getting going now, and a chance to go right around the time she went this morning when she didn't have the thousand first. And I feel like what what you said is especially true for distance swimmers. For sprinters, maybe they'll just, it might be a little different. But for when you're a distance swimmer, it's just getting moving. And a great last fifty here for Savannah Nash, and she'll take this one in two double o thirty nine. That's more than two seconds faster than she was this morning. And look at that, Brooke Travis, considerably quicker than she was this morning at 202.26.